And now we come to a couple of the glamour events of the track and field championships. This, the women's 200 meters. And I wanna tell you, Carol, I know that Michael Johnson's have to walk out of here, the headliner. But for me, the gutty performer here has been Gwen Torrance all week long. Gwen Torrance has always been a rock when it came to competing. She's always been tough as nails. She's 30 years old now, but she's always been there. I mean, who would have expected her to win that 100 meters? When we talked to her earlier in the week after the qualifying round, she was crying because she hurt so bad. She came out of there. She got out of those blocks. And it was no looking back for Gwen Torrance. And I expect the same thing here of her in the 200 meters. She's basically owned this race for the United States. She's the 1992 Olympic gold medalist. But this woman, Carlette Guidry, she broke Gwen Torrance's American indoor record indoors in Atlanta this past year. Uh, Gwen said there was too much running to run the 60 and the 200. Carlette decided to run the 60 and the 200 and, in fact, broke Gwen's record there. So this should be an excellent race between Carlette Goodry, Gwen Torrance, and Selena Monday Milner, who came in. You see her right there in the back of your screen past Gwen Torrance. Came in, made the team in the 100 meters. Who would have thought that? come now to their marks and we are ready to go with the women's 200 meter final. Gidry will be in lane three, Mondi Milner in four, and Torrance will be in five. start now. Gidry, Torrance Milner, and Gidry. Gidry moving very strongly in lane three, hoping to power out for the final 100 meters, but Torrance is right there. Torrance is on the top and Gidry trying to come back now. Torrance holding her off and Gwen Torrance is going to do it. Gwen Torrance has doubled up. showed everybody who it is out there for the beat. Did not look like she had any trouble with that race. She ate up that turn. She ate up the youngster Aspen Burkett, who looked like she came back and made the team. What about the time here, Carol? 22.03 unofficially, a very good time, especially considering she has been injured a little bit. See, Gwen Tarns eating up Aspen Burkett, who is a youngster, just a freshman year at University of Illinois. But Gwen looks so good on that turn, coming around, as we said earlier, very tight turns. And Gwen Torrance takes it on in, winning the 200 and the 100. The men's 200 is still ahead of us. Well, Gwen Torrance, Carlette Guidry, and Selena Mondi Milner all make the national team headed for uh, Sweden. And that's the same order of finish that we had at 100 meters right there. And let's go to Mark Jones, who's with our winner. Mark, you ready? Oh. Gwen, have you ever had this much success fighting through injuries in your career? Well, it always seems around where ch championships time, something is aching me since 93. I'm hoping I'll break the spell in 96 at home. But I'm getting older, and I got to learn how to stay healthy. All right, congratulations on your double. Now over to Lewis Johnson. Lewis? All right, Mark.